So it's almost six o'clock uh, on September the 26th and we're out here on our first inspection tour of our lost island. Uh, vegetatively doing very well. The trees seem to be doing very well. The, the plant diversity seems to be doing well. A huge amount of biomass up here. Um, and I was having Sarhat do an initial bird nest survey and we weren't finding that many nests. <laughs> and then we found some scat that didn't appear to belong to birds. And uh, we speculated for a long time. We put it in bags. And then we were walking around, and as Sarhat was uh, <laughs> looking for a nest, we discovered the first fox. <laughs> and that was evidence that this was not a predator free island. And we drove it off that way. And, and he swam back very quickly off to the uh, mainland on, on that side, across that breach. And then we thought, oh, that's very interesting. And, and then we went back to doing work, and then Sarhat was finishing over there and flushed a second fox, and you can see, and we, we chased it back and forth, and we thought we were almost going to catch it, and then you can see it uh, actually right there. And so I was going towards it, and it freaked it out, and so it decided to bolt, and so it jumped in the water, and, and, uh, and it's interesting, you see as he swims, uh, he's not swimming per se, he's jumping, he's bouncing off the bottom, so that means the areas that we thought were okay, we didn't need to worry to make deeper, we probably needed to make those areas deeper. Clearly that guy could have swum across also, but it appears relatively easy for them to sort of do that pounding bounce across. So um, Lost Island uh, is not as lost as we, as we thought it was. So yet another good conservation lesson from Eastern Turkey. <laughs>